live in the WPDE End Zone studio. Mark Hager standing by with a happy group of Knights. Take it away, Mark. They are a happy group of West Florence Knights. And, of course, we'll get to the players in a moment. But first, as we always do, let's start with the cheerleaders. Ladies, I think you have a cheer for us. All right, the West Florence Knights cheerleaders, and they had plenty to cheer about tonight. Coach, 59 points on the board. Is this the same team I saw get shut out a couple of weeks ago? I'm glad it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we, we needed that. We, need, we finally got some kids healthy, and we played really well. Well, you, well, you know, that has been a problem with your team this year. You came out of the gate, lost your first two games of the season, and you've kind of got your uh, mojo back. Now you've won six of your last eight kind of a patchwork offensive line. I've covered a lot of your games this year, and I know you've had to struggle to, to find some bodies, and you've done that. Yeah, we, we graduated all five linemen last year. Two of them were north-south players, and uh, it, they had some big shoes to fill, and, and, and the injuries hurt us, but they're getting better every week. Last week, we started a sophomore and two freshmen on offensive line, and this week, we got some kids back, and we played a lot better, played a lot better, and uh, ran the ball a lot better. Boy, I guess you did. <laughs> oh, man. I'm seeing here touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. I've got a list of touchdowns. Dexter Fulmore with three. Aaron Darby with a touchdown. You had the, the pick six, uh, you know, the 90-yard return for the pick six. Uh, Scarborough even banged one over. Eight touchdowns in all tonight. Yeah, um, uh, Dexter had 150 on the first two carries. So uh, we definitely played a lot better. And Marquand played really well, threw the ball well. We had, we had some touchdown catches. We, you know, we were, you know, uh, a lot better on both, you know, running and, and passing the ball, which is what, something we had trouble with the last few weeks. And speaking of Mark Juan, we, uh, we've been covering this young man since he was a freshman, and it's his birthday tonight. There he is in the dreads, folks. Mark Juan, Mark Juan Goodman, he is 17 years old. Happy birthday to you. All right, now, Coach, who does the HTC game ball go to? We've got a young man, what do you, what do you call him? He, he's got a nickname. Yeah, this is um, Marsden, but we call him M. Dot, and we call him Chubby, we call him a whole bunch of things, but uh, he doesn't miss, he doesn't miss anything. He's, a, he's our biggest fan, and we're gonna let him give out the game ball. All right, who does the game ball go to tonight? Dexter Fulmore. Oh, good choice. Let's go. All right, Dex, I know you had at least a couple of hundred yards on the ground. 150 yards on your first two carries. Nice runs, too. And I think you might end up in the top five as well as getting this HTC game ball. Talk to me about tonight's game and fighting through the entire season to get to the point you're at now. You're in the playoffs. Uh, the offense just played very well tonight. Um, I got to give a lot of credit to my offensive line. They really stepped up this past two weeks. You know, I don't get a lot of respect. but um, I, And I just ran the ball hard, you know. Name names. These guys, these offensive linemen, they want to hear their names on the air. <laughs> uh, we got number 52, um, Rashad Daniels. Number 59, Jabray. Uh, we got Doug, which is number 76, our starting um, center. We got OP, number 54, and we got LB, number 67. All right. And we've got a young man that is committed to Clemson. He's a kicker. His name is Alex Spence, and Alex kicked a 39-yard field goal in tonight's game. I told him before the season's over, he needs to kick me one that's 50-plus. Alex, talk about tonight's game a little bit and uh, just the pressure that's on you to continue to be accurate uh, from your place kicking. Your, your kickoffs always seem to go through the end zone, and you're a weapon for this team. Well, it was nice to make one tonight. We really didn't need it that much since we scored so many touchdowns, but... Um, our, my snapper, Will Brasington, and my holder, Billy Holland, did well, and the, the line did a good job blocking also. And you're still a firm commitment to Clemson. Oh, there's no way I'm changing. <laughs> All right. Allison Floyd, one of our anchors, is a big Clemson. And her eyes were, her, she was kind of perking up. I always ask people, are you a firm commitment? Because signing day is coming soon in February. Coach, next week it's the South Florence Bruins and the West Florence Knights, two teams that don't like each other. And it's all going to come down to uh, it, you could create a real problem in this region. Talk to me about what happens if you win. Yeah, with a win, we can uh, you know win a share of the region championship, and uh, that that'd be a uh, you know big honor for our kids, especially graduating 31 seniors and 17 starters from last year, and coming back and playing the way we have the last eight ball games. That would that would be big for us. And you know I don't think people realize how big of a rivalry this is. You know West South is about as big as it gets in high school football, and. Um, the kids are, are, you know, friends during the year, but, you know, when it comes to Friday nights, it's, it's, it's a battle. 
and uh, we don't get along. And, it, and, and it, our kids are excited. It's going to be a big crowd, um, a lot riding on because Prince does a great job. You know, they've done a great year, and we're excited. And I know these guys behind me would love to ruin their perfect season. For the first time in two years, the West Florence Knights are in the zone. Guys, how excited are you to be here? Yeah! yeah! CM6! 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 Great to have the West Florence Knights in the studio. Big win over Carolina Fours, 59 to 35. Special thanks to Sonic. A man Clark down there at Carolina Forest cooking up a hundred burgers or so to feed the West Florence Knights. And that game next week should be a great matchup. West Florence and South Florence. Football in the PD, especially in the city limits of Florence, is alive and well.